Hello, and this is a uh, update for the Motorola Zoom 3.1 Canadian update we finally have here in Canada. As you can see, the, uh, this is the new boot screen here. It's a pulsating M logo, which actually looks pretty slick. And this is what I've seen online in the YouTube videos from the US update. The US update doesn't have this yet, but I'm guessing by the time 3.3 update comes along, the US will have this new cool pulsating M logo, which you never know might change again because, you know, Google bought Motorola, so that might change yet again. But for now, this is this pulsating M logo is actually really neat. It looks much, you know, I don't know, it's different than the uh, honeycomb thing, but I, I kind of like it better. It kind of has that little, you know, looks cool. Anyways, here's some other cool features too that I like of the, uh, I like of the uh, 3.1 update as well. There's now a file manager feature as well in the 3.1 Canadian update, which I don't think the US update has either, because US people were kind of wondering, how do you access your SD card and things like that? So I'm kind of guessing that I don't get, I don't think, I don't think you guys, you guys played. I'm guessing you guys wouldn't have, you know. <laughs> so yeah, you, the, Motorola obviously did not add it to the U.S. people. So they didn't add any actual easy way to access the SD card. And the Canadian people up here, we got this cool file. As you can see, this file manager here, which is actually kind of neat. It gives you access to the uh, SD card functionality as well as the other functionality here of the internal storage. And by just holding, by just holding down items like say you're going to select this uh, item here. You can hold it down and then you can select it and then on the very top you can see a green bar that gives you your actions and with these actions you can easily copy and paste and do whatever you need to to actually bring your information over to your micro SD card. Right now I don't have micro SD card inserted because you know, I don't really need to use that feature. The 32 gig internal memory is good enough for me. I don't really need to you know, have like that much data carried around with me at all times. You know, it gets taken and I kind of, you know, it's a lot of personal data that somebody else could have with me. And I don't want to want to encrypt it because encryption does technically slow down devices for the most part. And unless, I don't know if Motorola has a, uh, has a has a cryptographic chip in it that actually increases the speed of encryption and decryption, I'm not too sure about the specs. If it did, then I probably may, may do that, but I don't think it does. And I don't really want to slow down the performance of the device just for the sake of encryption. Because I can just, you know, remote wipe it by using apps, apps like, um, like uh, Seek Droid, and I can find my Droid that way quite easily. Anyways, hope you uh, guys enjoyed this video.